Hello guys, today I want to share a short video answering a question from a tweet which I think could be relevant for many of you. So while discussing one of the issues, I received this concern that if you run composer update, it may update not only the packages you intend to update, but also others which you may not want to update. So in this case, the solution was updating one package and that comment author is afraid that Livewire would update. And let me answer it from a few different angles and show a few tricks. So it's all in Composer JSON of your Laravel project. And this is an example from my Filament 3 course project. And PHP Storm automatically shows you the exact version that I have. So this is the rule for the version. And this is what was actually installed in the latest Composer update or Composer install. And it all depends on the syntax, which sign do you use, this one or asterisk. But in all of those cases, you can quickly check if there are new versions for certain packages with composer outdated. This command, it will show you if there are new versions of the packages compared to your current versions. And in two groups, these are kind of the main versions, the main packages that you require. And these are the dependencies which you would not specifically specify as required, but those would be automatically updated. So this was one trick I wanted to show you, Composer outdated. And then for example, if you want to update certain package, but not touch others. For example, you want to update Laravel Sanctum to 3.3 and your rule says 3.2 or higher. So let's try to run Composer update Laravel Sanctum, only specific one package and let's see what it does. It's upgrading only Laravel Sanctum, not touching any other filament or other packages that were still outdated. And now in my PHP storm, I should get a refresh and this is what it shows. Now Sanctum is on 3.3 and others were not touched. So these are two tricks with Composer I wanted to show you, Composer outdated and Composer update specific package, which would kind of solve the problem in this question on Twitter. And also what I replied to this tweet is we have an article, a premium article on Laravel Daily, nine useful features of Composer, which will also explain the differences between these three syntax versions. I will link that article in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.